Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> oh hi, Thomas here as well. <laughs> I've just had to wrangle him because he's going a bit crazy. So I apologize in advance if my dog is barking. It seems to be witching hour or something. All right, get this so you can see what I picked from the garden. I was actually so surprised with how much I picked. So I've been rushing around trying to take photos of it. I'm out of breath because I wanted to get a good photo of it. So I'll just show you what I've just picked from the garden. So I'll go through and I'll tell you what I've picked and then we'll start prepping because today we are going to be making a roast veggie salad and we're gonna use some of the leftover greens like the tops of the radish and some herbs and we're going to make a dressing for our roast veggie salad using all the stuff from the garden i'm still so shocked i didn't think there was that much out there i'm also trying to block the sun because it sets right in my kitchen which is beautiful but it's not really the best for filming my makeshift tea towel. Anyway, let me know where you're tuning in from. It's so good to see some familiar faces pop up in the chat and some newbies. It's been a little while since I've done a live. I got on a roll there for a while and then I just stopped. And once you stop doing these things, it's quite hard to get back into it because it's actually terrifying. <laughs> jumping on a live. Um, so thank you for joining me. All right. I've already got the oven on. It is preheating to roast our veggies. I'm also going to chop them up a little bit smaller than normal so that they cook faster. Um, so we're not waiting for them to cook all night. Um, so first, uh, I'll show you what I've picked, which is so exciting. I've got a hibiscus. The... Um, Stamen got ripped off when I dropped it. Um, what else have I got? I'm trying to. It's quite hard to get a good view um, with this laptop. I'm just going to move this back, maybe so you can see. All right, so what... I've got here, I've got two of these actually. These are one of my favorite things to grow. And you are right, mate? There he is. What are you doing? You want to be on the live? You want to steal the show? No. All right, so I've got two of them actually. So these are watermelon radish. So these are one of my favorite radishes to grow. Um, they're a lot bigger than a normal radish. And they're, we'll have to cut them open and see if they're ready. I don't know if they're ready or not, but um, they looked the right size. These ones are a little bit tricky to tell. Um, so it's always a surprise when you cut, open, cut them open, which I like. So we'll see. Cut these up. I've also got a couple of white beetroot, which look really similar to the radish. They're not very big, those ones. I just thought I'd pick them anyway um, while I was there. These are just your regular radishes. So this one is definitely, they probably should have been picked earlier. I didn't really notice them because they were all hidden under all the leaves. So they were definitely ready to be picked in this little white one. So we've got those radishes. Another favorite of mine is the rainbow chard. And for some reason, I planted all these mixed rainbow chard seeds, but all the 
ones that have popped up have been the yellow ones. So I don't know if the other ones will take longer or I just randomly planted all yellow. <laughs> Hopefully there's some pink ones in there or some orange. So we've got some beautiful rainbow char. Um, what else have we got? I picked some sweet potato leaves. So we're going to stir fry these up as well and use these as part of the greens for the salad. A lemon, which will be for the dressing. And also a red bunching onion. I pulled all the red off it though, because it was dirty. Um, so that will be also part for the part of the dressing. This is just a random cauliflower leaf because it was shading out some of my little plants. So I just pick, I like to pick off some of the broccoli or cauliflower leaves if the plant's getting big enough so that it doesn't shade out all the little things I have growing underneath. Someone's been eating it, but that's okay. Gave it a wash. This is my very odd purple sweet potato that I snapped when I was trying to get it out. This light is not very good. So we'll cut, when I cut it fresh, it'll be a little bit brighter. This one's been sitting around and it's oxidized a little bit. Um, but we've got sweet potato. I could only find one. I didn't leave enough time to really pick all these veggies I didn't think there was that much there so I was like oh it's fine like I'll go out and, in an hour and like just pick up what I can find and it took a lot longer and I wish I had more time to hunt around for some more sweet potato um that's okay we've got enough food definitely this is like a, just a little random piece of pumpkin so you can eat the pumpkin leaves the young leaves and the shoots so the pumpkin plant's pretty much dead now I need to rip it out. But there's one pumpkin left on it, so I'm letting it try and go as long as possible. So just pick a few of these leaves. Plenty of nasturtiums. If you've got any questions, pop them in the chat, and then when um, we're in between, we'll, I'll do my best to answer all of them. Um, I think I dropped some of these because there was more, but I don't know where they've gone. These are like a little miniature capsicum chili thing. I don't think they're very hot. Um, we've got some mint, so that'll be for the dressing. We'll make it nice and fresh with some herbs. And then for the base of the salad, this is like a bit making a salad for like I'm um, catering. This is way too much food, but I got carried away. Um, rocket, so a big bunch of rocket. It needed to be picked anyway, so if I don't, I won't use it all. I'll probably make a pesto, um, and I can have that during the week with some pasta or something. A little bit of rosemary. I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I don't know if it's gonna go with all the flavors, but picked it anyway. And yeah, lots of random nasturtium everywhere. I think that's it. I did pick some basil. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna use that for this dish either, um, but it's there anyway. The, the basil needs to be picked. There's so much of it. It's, and it's gonna start dying off now that it's really cooling down um, here in Perth. So that is my haul. I am quite happy with that because it is very much an in-between time in the garden with lots of my winter seedlings still not very big and most of my summer stuff has been pulled out. I do have that pumpkin, I've got a pumpkin under all of this as well that I harvested um, in one of the previous videos so I might chuck that in as well. Um, am I using any flowers? Yes. So we have the hibiscus which I might chop up some of this to pop in the um, the salad for some pink because there's not a lot of edible flowers in the garden at the moment. There are some coming through, so the 
I've got these really pretty pansies. So pansies are a really good winter edible flower, but mine are only just starting to pop up. So I've got two of those because we're definitely not making a salad without edible flowers. I've also got, I feel like I'm going to say this wrong. Is it asylum? Someone correct me because I have no idea. It's something like that anyway. Um, it's a very common flower, which I didn't know was edible, but it is edible and it is definitely weed-like. Um, so I'm trying to pick as much of the flowers and not let them go to seed because they just go everywhere. Um, yeah. Okay, that actually is it. I'll just have a check and see who's here because it's nice to see who's um, who I'm talking to because I we can't actually see who I'm talking to. So it's nice if you are watching to just say hi in the chat and that way I can tell you're here and you're not just a number. All right, so let's get these veggies prepped for the oven so we can get them cooking. Um, this is a little variegated nasturtium. They get very much choked out by the common other nasturtiums, so you don't, I don't actually see a lot of them. I'm going to try and do this, tilt this so you can see my terrible cutting skills. All right, who's ready for what should we do first? Should we do the, the watermelon radish? It's a bit chaotic. Do we think it's going to be pink? I don't know. It is. Yay. <laughs> That's exciting. So hmm. it's got a hole in it. I don't know if a crit has been in there or something, but that's the watermelon radish. So normally you would cut it um, with a little bit of green on the edge and it looks like a watermelon piece of watermelon. So these are really nice and crunchy. I love having these fresh in the salad. So I'm probably going to put some, save some fresh for the salad, but I do want to try, I haven't actually tried roasted watermelon radish and I love roasted radish. So I'm just going to try some of that today. So we'll cut that up. Pop it in a dish. I broke my favorite roasting dish today, which I'm gutted about. So I've got this like cake tin, Put some olive oil in there. Um, not ideal, but that's okay. Next up, I'll do. Wow, you can really smell radish. It has a very radishy smell. I need that. I need a bowl for my compost. So have you tried roasted radish before? I feel like if you've been watching my Instagram, my YouTube, you've heard me go on about it. So you may have tried it already. Let me know. I'm not gonna peel my sweet potato because I can't be bothered. And because I grew this in my garden, I know there's no yuck chemicals on it. Um, I could give it a pretty good wash. Root vegetables are one of the worst for having nasties if you are buying things from the shops. Potatoes, sweet potato. They hold on to a lot of those chemicals because they're sitting directly in the soil. I 
I did say I was going to chop these small so they cook faster. So you can make the salad with any sort of root vegetables or like roasting vegetables like your potato or carrots. Last time I made this with baby carrots and it was delicious, but I was this time I'm trying to do it from my garden. So I don't have any carrots in the garden. I'm not a big carrot grower. I haven't had much luck with them and I just find them high maintenance. So I just, I throw some in every now and then. But this is the white beetroot. It's quite sweet. All right, so that's probably enough. I'm going to actually chuck in a little bit of the lemon because we don't need the whole lemon for the dressing. Oh, it smells so good. So, it's another thing that I do quite often is I'll chuck in some lemon with my roast veggies. And, oh, it's got me in the eye. Um, it goes really, like, caramelized, and then you can use that as a dressing by itself anyway. Um, so, we've got that. What else do we going to I'm just going to put some pumpkin in. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. I've got a lot of food here. But I do need to use this pumpkin. It's been sitting like on my bench, looking pretty. But we can't let things just look good. They need to be eaten. I don't have very sharp knives. Don't judge my cutting skills. being right beside the oven. It's pumping out a bit of heat. All right, so I might just give that another little bit of oil. Um, some salt. on my hands now. All right, a bit of salt, maybe a little bit of rosemary, although that's not really the flavor I'm going for. Might as well. All right, let's get these in the oven. Our roast veggies for the roast veggie salad. So I've got those on around 190 degrees and hopefully they won't take too long to cook because I have cut them up quite small. And now I'll just get rid of some of the stuff and we can prep some greens. We're going to wilt some greens um, here in the pan and then I'll also put in some fresh greens like the rocket. I'll put that in fresh so it'll be a little bit of a mix for that and then we can make the dressing using the leftover radish tops and beets um, we're going to chuck some of the beet leaves in for the wilted greens the sweet potato um, I'm going to chuck the whole stem in like it's the, it's just the young ones so it's like the top five leaves maybe on the sweet potato vine got those do you know if we really wanted to we could make crispy pumpkin seed for the top i don't think we'll have time for that but okay let's get this going so i'm gonna chuck those in there 
Um, that's the sweet potato. And where are the radish and the beets? Some of them I will use for the dressing. I'll use the younger ones in the dressing, and then I'm going to use just some of these um, more mature ones I'll chop up for the wilted greens and the cauliflower stem. I'm not going to put the real hard end bits in there. And, of course, these, our rainbow chart. It'll give it some nice colour. down quite a lot so it looks like a lot in there at the moment but um it won't go far a few more radish greens leaves and we need some of the beets so much greens. I'm going to have to, you can't really see. There's so much greens. So I'm going to have to um, make something else after this with all the leftover greens. Sometimes I just blanch them and freeze them and then I can chuck them in like a curry or a soup another time. All right. There we have it. A big pan of greens. So with that, I'm probably just going to put a bit of water and kind of steam it, let it wilt down. Not on a high temperature or anything, just let it go. All right. Let's see if there's any questions. Because I haven't been on here. Oh my gosh, it's so many. All right. White beets. Yeah, so I don't itch. I don't grow them very much, but I do like them. And I have the golden ones as well. They're really good. I like I'm not a big fan of the the red beet is a lot more earthy. These ones are, have more subtle flavors and they're quite sweet compared to the like your traditional red beet that kind of like have that really earthy taste. Alice Alison is that Alison? I feel like I was close. You guys, Alison. I still don't know if that's how you say it. A variegated kumquat. Oh my gosh, I have wanted to get one of those. Oh. Halen's in the mix saying when he can come home. I told him he had to be home before five. But because when he comes home, the dog goes nuts. But he's probably going to do that anyway. You have macadamia nuts in your garden? That's delicious. Throw some features in there. <laughs> yes, Kent pumpkin with the sp splashes on it, which I think is actually it's it's actually a winter squash, but it's a pumpkin to me. All right, so let's see how this is going. While that's there, let's get our dressing on the go. So this dressing is pretty flexible. I change it all the time. I add heaps of herbs in it um, or heaps of greens. I've also done it with like fennel fronds. I've done 
a really nice fin off on one. Um, so I just kind of change it up all the time. It's really about tasting this to decide whether it's, yeah, the flavors on it because it is quite strong. It's got vinegars and lemon juice and a bit of sugar. So it's really about balancing that out um, and just tasting it all the time. So I have got a little bit of a base here that I'm going to try and do. Um, I don't know if this is going to be big enough. We'll give it a crack. So basically I want to do about a cup of greens, whether that's herbs or today we're going to do radish top. So I'm just going to chop them up as fine as I can. And I'm using like more of the younger radish tops for this because they're less spiky. Because radish tops do have a little bit of a prickle on them. Um, but they seem to disappear when you cook them off. It's not as like rough. So that's probably about half a cup. And then I'm gonna put in some mint. I don't know what I did with it. And some rocket. What will I do with the mint? I'm getting out of control here with all the herbs. Here we go. So we've got some mint. So we're basically just going to jam this full of herbs and greens. Um, some more radish tops. What else did I have? I've got nasturtium. Chuck a few of them in. Some more rocket. Rocket, nasturtium, and radish tops. So this is going to have quite a bit of a kick to it. Bit peppery. But we're going to put a bit of sugar in there. So I've got some raw sugar. You could use, I guess you could use honey or any sort of sweetener that you've got. Um, so I'm going to do a teaspoon of sugar. The raw sugar, because it's quite gritty as well, it helps break this up. So we'll do that for now. Um, we might add some in after. We'll just try it. Some sugar. Um, I'm going to put some lemon juice in. I'll probably put about a tablespoon of lemon juice or a quarter. I've got about a quarter here. I'll probably taste it and put more in. And then I'm going to do um, red wine vinegar. So about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Some olive oil. So about a quarter of a cup of olive oil or oil. I'm not very good at measuring things, but I'm going to try for you. This stupid lid takes, it's like a drizzle. Salt. I am making a mess. I always make such a mess when I'm doing this. So I'm just going to put about uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And then you could put in some chili if you wanted. I've got some chili flakes, but I think I might hold off on that because of the nasturtiums and all the stuff I've got in here. Um, I'm just trying to keep an eye on all of this. 
I purposely didn't put this on very high temperatures so that I didn't forget about it in my So with your like um, sweet potato leaves and beetroot leaves and all those sort of ones that um what is it called the the cauliflower and the broccoli leaves it's good to sort of cook them down a little bit just either blanch them or cook them off just to if you are going to be eating a lot of them and they can be quite harsh so it's fine if you just want to put a few here and there but if you're going to be using a whole bunch of them then i do like to just cook them down a little bit um this dressing you could use a mixer or like some sort of blitzing thing but one that would be really loud and not enjoyable for you to listen to and two i like this and i like that it leaves it quite chunky um it's not all blitzed up it's still got like some chunks in it so i like that um and it feels like i'm making a potion so after this once um it's mash down i'll just add a little bit of water to it and that'll bring it to more of a dressing um but the salt will be bringing out a lot of the juices from the greens that we put in there so it's already just getting more and more watery as we go and then we're going to use this dressing to dress our roast veggie salad and you could just make this dressing for anything really just herbs, greens, a bit of acidity with the lemon and the vinegar, a bit of sweetness with the sugar. I want to show you without like tipping it everywhere. So it's starting to come together now. Let me know as well what sort of lives you want to see because it is really hard to think of them. I've been wanting to do one for a while and um, I can't think of anything. I'm like, oh, my brain goes dead when it comes to lives. So the next one I want to do is not a cooking one. I want to do something else, but I don't really know what. Like Q&A is a bit boring. So I was thinking about maybe soil testing. But then I don't know if that will be quite hard to come across on the screen. Um, this smells so good, you guys. I wish you could smell this. The um, roast veggies are starting to smell good too. I can use this one now because it's the sun's gone down. I was hoping the radish will hold its colour and it looks like it might. Turn it up a bit. Let's see what we got in the comments. Yeah, we've had a bit of rain here in Perth. I feel like that's bad saying that because it's nothing compared to everyone else. We've had like maybe, I don't know what we, what have we had like, it's been raining since Sunday? It's Tuesday. I thought it was going to rain all week, but it was really nice today. You made Fijo ice cream? Oh, stop it. My fingers didn't last long enough to make anything with. I, kept, I had to keep eating them um, before the critters did. I've, we've had a really bad, like, rat problem this year. I don't know if anyone else has had that, but, like, I've never had rats in my garden. Like, I've, I know that they're there because we have – our neighbours have palms, um, and you can hear them in the palms eating the palm – berries but we've ne I've never really experienced them and we've been here 
gosh, like seven years or more. And this year there's just been rats eating my veggies, which is disgusting. So I've been trying to just pick everything. Even if I think it's not quite ready, I'm just picking it because um, I don't want them to do damage to it. Let's try this dressing. It's looking very good, like pretty much how I want it to look. It could be a little bit more mashed, but can't be bothered. So it is important to just try it, and then if it needs a bit more sugar, add a bit more sugar. If it needs a little bit more sourness, add some more lemon. If it tastes quite bland, then I'll add a little bit more salt. It tastes a little bit, probably a little bit sweet. So I might add a little bit more lemon. You can taste the radish, but it isn't over, overpowering. Or is it the rocket? I mean, I guess they're quite similar flavors. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. And then some water and we're done with the dressing. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to tip it out. Can you see? Maybe I'll put it in a glass a glass jar or bowl or something so you can see it. I don't know where one is at the moment. I'm probably going to pour it everywhere. This feels like a bad idea. Mm. I actually could put some chili flakes in there. Like it's not too, um, it hasn't got that much of a kick. Looks great. <laughs> Good presentation there, Holly. But that is my green dressing. I love that dress. Like I love that dressing because you can change it up all the time, and um, it just tastes really fresh and like makes those veggies and stuff taste like that. Just brings out all the flavor in them because it does have that real vibrant flavor. I can just drink this. All right. Dressing is done. What is the time? 20 to six. This is pretty much done as well. I don't want it to be like mush or anything. Normally that would only take a minute or two, but because I had it on the low heat, well, Halen is home, so Tama is going to start barking. Hey? Yes, he's here. Who is it? <coughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was me. When I get home, he literally won't even get up off the couch. He won't even come and see me. He just He's just like, oh, yeah, it's here. He's always here. All right, so I'm going to turn that off. That's our veggies. I'm going to get my serving dish. I thought I got that out. Not that organized. So this is my serving dish. I'm going to lay down the rocket. I'm running out of room.
because we've still got all that fresh rocket. But hopefully I washed good because it has been raining. So a lot of my veggies had um, like lots of sandy grit splashed up on them from all the rain. Um, but these ones weren't so bad because they have got the mulch. So I'm just going to roughly cut that up. I don't really want the hard stalks on the end. They can go in pesto because I'm clearly going to be having to make some with all of this left over. All right. Pop in some of the nasturtium. I've still got more, like, uh, I've still got so much radish. Let's make like some pickled radish. Chop up some of the watermelon and radish. I normally don't cut things. I'm not a big, clearly. Um, I normally use a mandolin because you can cut them all really evenly and thin, but I'm only cutting this tiny piece, so. Yeah, some bright hot pink radish. Halen will be too scared to come inside. He won't want to be on camera. All right. Now we can start chucking the stuff in there. And then the flowers. So I'm going to put a little bit of the dressing on first because you always toss the salad. So I'll put a little bit of that on. Give it a good mix. <laughs> He's running around like an idiot. So now that all the greens are coated in the dressing, I think that's important. Boy, I think that's important like to get all the greens coated in that delicious dressing so that you're not getting a bite of just like plain um, rocket or anything like that. It's all coated, ready to go. We just need to pop on our roast veggies. So we'll see if they're done. Yeah, not bad. Ooh, hot. Here's our purple sweet potato. Probably 
probably need a little bit longer. So I'll just chuck them back in for probably another few minutes and I'll answer any questions. So if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments and we'll just give those a couple more minutes. They are pretty much cooked. There's just a little bit of bite still in the beetroot. You should see how much stuff I've got going on here. Oh, I might top up some of this as well. The um, hibiscus. It's going to look so pretty. We've got our pansies, our hibiscus, our radish. I just don't want to forget anything. Oh, I've already forgotten something. Let's bring onion. going to work out well. I've basically got salad for the whole week. <laughs> the biggest salad. Um, I'll just bring onion on there. All right. What questions have I missed? Oh, your dog looks for you when you go to work. Tama does that as well. Not for me, though. He doesn't care. <sighs> hibiscus tea. I have. I have. I dry the hibiscus all the time, and I'll use that in tea. Um, because of the hibiscus doesn't last very long on the plant. And that's one thing that I think a lot of people get stuck on. It's that they don't want to pick the flowers because the flowers look beautiful in the garden. They're, the bees love the flowers, but a lot of these edible flowers won't last very long. So that flower, that hibiscus, by tomorrow, it would probably be closed up and gone anyway. So um, the same with quite a lot of edible flowers. They just don't last very long. And the more you pick them, the more they'll produce. So that's good as well. It'll help extend your season as well because the plant is trying to produce seeds for another generation and if you're picking those flowers or this all your fruit it's the same with your fruit and veggies um the plant thinks it needs to keep producing to make sure that it's got seeds so picking the flowers is not necessarily a bad thing but yeah i do want to make, make a lot more teas this winter um might wait to put those on because I got into it quite a lot last year, but I have heaps more stuff growing that I can dry for teas. Um, and I have got quite a few edible flowers left over from summer. So the dressing, um, I will pop a recipe-ish up for you after that because I can't even remember. I think it was about... What did we do? A cup of greens and herbs. Then I did a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, a teaspoon of sugar, a quarter of a lemon, and um, some salt. Half a teaspoon of salt, and then some water. Oh, I think that was it. Yeah. And then just taste and add more or less. Um, Oh, and these, these are the fresh capsicum chili things. So I wouldn't grow these again, again. I didn't realize what they were. And they've got like lots of seeds in the middle, like a chili. They have got good flavor though. They're very much like a chili cross between a capsicum. Like they're not hot, but they're a little bit more than a capsicum, but Way too fiddly. Nobody's got time for that. It's basically just all seeds. But that nice colour red will look good in our rainbow salad. <laughs> I know so many people are. I think once you figure out with like 
how to balance flavors that makes a huge difference in your confidence in the kitchen and that is about figuring out if it's you know if it's not sweet enough what can you add if it's not got any flavor i think a lot of the time putting a little bit more salt in will add that flavor if i'm finding things a bit bland because it draws a lot of those liquids out of the plant and makes them have a lot more flavor yeah free spirit can get you so far but not really with baking um you do kind of have to follow a recipe with baking so but don't you worry i still try all right i'm gonna chuck these veggies in and we'll finish off our salad i i would normally let those cool down a bit and not chuck them straight in here but um it's already semi wilted anyway. I'm not really worried about anything in there being too hot. Um, and yeah, so the lemons that we chucked in there, um, they haven't been in long enough to caramelize, but they have cooked through and because, and all the juices have come out. So these are already dressed with roast lemon now. So they've got heaps of flavor and find those watermelon radishes the watermelon radish is still pink which is cool i wonder what it tastes like it kind of tastes like beetroot it's very mellow it's not like it's what another like why i love roasting radishes it goes quite mild and sweet so if you're not a fan of like the pepperiness of radish, then roasting them. So I'm just gonna pop these roast veggies just all around. Putting some of the color, spreading it out. trying to do it nice <laughs> really just want to like dump it in so I'm just not I'm not putting those lemons in because that's basically just left it's just lemon rind left now. And now we'll just pop on all the extras. Can you see? I feel like it's quite far away. Sorry. I'll show you once it's all done, though. I'm just going to pop on a fresh watermelon radish, some of the cut up hibiscus pink flowers, the pansies so when i use pansies most of the time i will pull them apart because you don't want to eat that big on all the edible flowers you don't want to eat that big bit at the back it won't be very nice so i just pull that off if i'm using them as a garnish i may put some on whole but you won't really eat them so then it's kind of a waste so i do like to pull off the petals and then spread those around Um, these, <laughs> I'm not going to say these again. I need to learn how to say them. I know they're like a really old classic cottage garden flower. Just adding these little details on the end. I mean, it, you don't have to do it fancy. You can literally just chuck them on, um, but these little edible flowers make such a difference. Yeah, I think that's it. Now we just need to put the rest of the dressing on. 
I might put a bit more water in it. It's quite, it's not so chunky. Here we go. This is my roast veggie salad with green dressing using the tops. It smells so good. Oh, that is going to be delicious. I don't have to cook dinner now. It's done. Well, I did cook dinner and I did make a mess. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of a behind the scenes. Oh, you can't really see. Anyways, it's okay. But yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, I can't even really take a photo. It's not very nice lighting at this time of night, but it is delicious. And I like having the raw, a little bit of the raw um, radish in there as well for some crunch. So it's it just feels more hearty when you've got those roast veggies with greens. This salad um, could be, I just would eat this by itself, but you could serve it as a side, side dish as well though. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. It is quite hard to get back into this because you have to think of so many things when you're trying to do this live, like, it's insane, but there's only one way to get back into it. And so I really want to say thank you for joining me and thank you for making my life come back enjoyable. It's definitely not too pretty to eat. I, this is how I like to eat all the time. I mean, you don't need to do much. Like roast, like homegrown veggies just taste delicious by themselves. Look at my little guy. So I think with this leftover haul, I'm going to make pesto. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy here, but I might try some pickled radish. Um, oh, and the other thing that I'm going to try, because I did... Um, I did this recently, but I forgot about it and um, I forgot, I didn't write down my measurements. So I need to do it again to try and get my measurements, but I want to make like a um, fermented green with the radish tops. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to ferment some of these greens, the beetroot and the radish and also make the pesto because I make pesto all the time. So I want to mix it up try something new and yeah I might pick all these radishes yeah anyway I've got a kitchen to clean up and a salad to eat so thanks for joining me and I will see you back at the next one if you have got any ideas of what we should do next for a live I don't want to do all cooking because um that's not interesting. We want to do a mix of things. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas, we'll see. But bye for now. I will hopefully see you back on Sunday when I post another video. But, yeah, thanks for joining me.